Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Paul Mackay and today I'm here to talk to you about Double Film Daily Black and White. Now this is a bit of a different one for Double Film. They're known for their creative and pre-tinted colour exposures. So a daily black and white film, what can you expect? Stick around to find out. Whether you are new to film photography or a long-time analogue enthusiast, our channel covers all things film, from tips and tricks, film reviews, to how-to videos. Subscribe now and keep those notifications turned on so that you never miss a beat. Happy shooting! So before we talk about Double Film Daily, let's just recap Double Film. It's been a bit quiet from their traditional tinted colour for a couple of years because, like everyone else in the world, they've obviously been impacted by the lack of um, base colour film and they take with their Apollo, Pacific, double gum, etc. They take base colour films and then manipulate them in the dark room, re-roll them up and sell them with these amazing effects. So hopefully they will soon be able to get more of the sort of the base colour film to, to continue creating what they do there. But they're never ones to stay quiet in general. It's run by a chap called Adam, who is an ex-lomography, used to work for Lomography, lives in Spain now and has this whole brand built around a digital app. <gasps> That's right, you heard it first. So Double Film actually began as an app, the concept being, it was early days of Instagram perhaps, and Adam had the idea that it would be really cool to, to shoot a photo on your phone, which again was novel at the time, and you'd be matched with someone else in the world who would take a photo on their phone, not knowing what yours would be, and it would digitally double them together and then you'd both have a unique double exposure that you could share. Lovely idea, I think. Couldn't really survive in the world of then Instagram becoming the dominant image-based social app. But it did prompt Adam to go down this route of playing with photography with a more open mind. And in fact, Double Film's goal, their objective, I'm gonna read this out. Double Film was born from the desire to see the world in different tones. So immediately you're thinking creative photography and obviously Adam's heart is in analog as well, which is lovely. So there we go. So that's where Double Film comes from. So when I say it's a bit of a surprise maybe to see a straight black and white film, now you can maybe get why if you've known them purely as a creative color film. But when you realize they started as a digital app, <laughs> maybe it's less surprising that they take this sharp right. I mean, they've also done their show cameras in the last year and a half. They've done camera straps. Um, and I know that there's more stuff on the way. They did the cinema film as well, um, and there's more other things on the way. So they're definitely not sitting on their hands while color film stocks are quite tough. Let's talk about it then. So double film daily. Um, there is also a color daily film, which again is a straight color film, no pre-exposure. And the sort of concept behind both of them was to make shooting film part of your daily routine. Um, so don't overthink it, don't worry about it. This is an ISO 400 film, so you can pop it in your camera when you're going to work, when you're commuting. Just shoot it as part of your daily life, rather than as a special thing you do separate from your normal life. Fans of our social media, and of Emma in particular, she's behind the camera and she's already grumpy knowing what I'm going to say, will remember her most famous social media moment where she did a wonderful reel um, all about double film daily when they launched and uh, showing your daily routine and the films being part of that. Uh, however, as is always the case with the internet, they got totally obsessed with something that wasn't the point, where she put a, a milk, a tea bag into milk before boiling water. Um, and for some reason, the, every response, every comment uh, focused on that rather than the film. So we'll post the link just so you can make your own mind up. <laughs> Sorry, Emma. Anyway, so yeah, so the concept is all about making it part of your daily life. And I mean, for me, that is, I'm so on board with that as a concept. Uh, I will always try and make sure I have at least one camera or two cameras on me at any one moment. I'm sure you're all the same. So that's it for the concept and the brand. As for the film itself, um, it is. it comes from a, uh, a manufacturer who produces this emulsion in other brands, under their main brand. I don't know what that is under confidentiality agreement, so I wouldn't know what it is. Um, I'm told though it is uh, reliable, but not mainstream. So it is highly likely that you won't have shot it before. If, you're, uh, if you haven't shot the widest gamut of black and white film, uh, it's probably likely to be new. How does it behave? So it's ISO 400, and generally speaking, the feedback has been that it responds really well in pretty decent light. 
So it's not going to be too contrasty. If you shoot it on a flat day, there will still be some contrast. It won't be perfectly gray in response. It won't give you dull photos, but it's not maybe as punchy as some others. That's not a problem. I mean, we now know the things to do. You wait for bright lights to give itself the scene a natural contrast, pop a little yellow, or if you're feeling brave, a dark red filter on top and really boost the contrast in that way. Or just enjoy the fact that it's gonna be slightly more subtle and we'll be able to pick out details between black and white more than perhaps some of the more punchy films. So there we go. Um, super simple, really. Uh, make it part of your daily routine. My challenge to you is to embrace that mentality and just have it with you at all times. Maybe shoot things you wouldn't normally do. It's always funny when I look back at photos from 10 years ago, uh, film photos, I, I really value some of the photos that were really commonplace things like on my commute that I've seen every day for six months. And it's only when you then look back 10 years later and you haven't been there for you know a decade, do you really remember it? So. Yeah, take photos of your daily commute, of your breakfast, of your pet, of, of everything that you might normally just dismiss as every day. Because in 10 years, you'll, you'll be really glad that you did. That's my challenge to you. And then Double Film have a challenge for you as well, which is simply have fun. On that note, I'll end this week. Thank you so much, and I'll see you again soon.